Alrighty, hello everyone and person here, and as you see by the towel, today we will be talking about an app called Wumbo AI, and this is an app that you've probably seen around on the internet, either on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, you've probably seen it around, you probably know a bit about it, but not too much, and because of that, I'm making this video explaining what Wumbo AI is. That being said, let's get into it. So according to the website itself, it's the best, quote unquote, the best, AI powered lip sync app in which you can take a selfie, pick a song, and let Wombo work its magic. And so I'm going to show you an example of one I did, so they have a bit of an example, except it's not going to be a picture of myself, because you don't actually need to take a picture of yourself, you can do it with any image you have in your phone, so you don't really need to worry about that. You can literally work with anything, but you know, it's going to vary depending on what image you're using, and you'll see what I mean by that after looking at these examples. <laughs> We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now, just wiped out. So, yeah, some worked very well, some, uh, some were extremely, extremely distorted, but uh, it really depends on what kind of image you're using. If you're using an image of a cartoon character or a game character, it, it can work as long as it resembles a human face and it's like facing frontwards. It's an image that has the full face, it has the eyes, it has the teeth, it's aligned, that's gonna work well. But if it's something from like a side view, uh, like this image right here, it's not gonna work even if it's like an actual person, that still won't work. And you know, I, I ended up doing it on the little child because it's the only image I had on my phone and uh, I, I feel kind of bad about doing it because it looks weird, but I did anyways. And that worked very well because again, it's a front facing image. And it's a human, it works best on a human, uh, not a character from a video game, obviously because it's meant for the human face, but if it resembles a human face, it's gonna work still. So that's pretty cool. And if you don't know, uh, it, it's kind of an app based off of the Dama Danai meme where everyone, okay, I said that extremely wrong, but everyone was making uh, those voice thing, AI things, I don't even know what you call them, the face AI things, and then boom, now there's a whole app on it. And now everyone's doing it, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram, and you could do it too, all you gotta do is download it, you can download on iOS, you can download on Android, you can download on pretty much every single device, so that's pretty cool. But as with any up and coming app that's becoming popular, there's always the issue of data, is it being used, is it being used for things that you don't want it to be used for, what are they doing with it? Well, thankfully, supposedly, according to the app, once they get your data, they instantly delete it, and when I mean data, I mean like pictures of yourself they quote unquote instantly delete it uh, according to this news article. So I'm not sure how valid that is, but I'm just gonna hope it's safe. Uh, I can't say if it is safe. I mean, not really much can say about that, especially since Apple and Google, they're both kind of cracking down on any apps doing that. So they're a lot more careful about that. And I think the makers of the app are also more careful on using people's faces and the data. So I, I don't think that's gonna be a worry, but only time will tell, so yeah. So I was gonna talk about how to use the app, but it's really self-explanatory. There's only two steps that you really need to know. It's just that you need an image. It could be an image of yourself, or one that you already have in your captures. And the image has to be front facing if you want it to work very well. And then boom, from there, you just click on the image, you click a song, and then done. Wumba does all of it for you. It's really simple and it's really easy. So there really isn't anything for me to tell you. And the app tells you how to do that all the way from the beginning. So again, not really much I can tell you there. And so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, that's literally all you need to know about Wombo. A little bit about what it is, how it works, what you can do with it, and is it safe? I can't really say so myself, but I guess time will tell. And in the privacy policies, it's pretty transparent about how it works. So I can at least assume that it's pretty safe for now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching.